You are now listening to Mr. Gentleman Lifestyle Podcast Season 3. Choo! Yes, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Now, this time I got my special guest. She is a recording artist that got a project out right now called A New Vibe. I got Banger in the building. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. <laughs> That's that's good. That's good. And, you know, um, welcome to my show. Thank you for having me. Uh, you know, anytime. So you know, let's start this interview. Yeah. All right. So where are you from? We gonna start with that. Okay. So I was born and raised in Far Rockaway, Queens, New York. Currently, I live in Connecticut, but Far Rockaway is where I was born and raised. Okay. 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 Nice. Nice. So describe yourself in one with one word and why. So to describe myself in one word, I would definitely definitely say positive. Like I try to have a positive outlook regardless of any situation I'm in. I feel super blessed. So I try to remain positive and keep that in mind. Okay, nice. And I got a positive vibe off you. So I believe that you're definitely positive, you know. So um, how did you come up with the name Banga? Banga. Banger was a nickname given to me, but um, I flipped it and I made it into building a new generation into building a new generation against adversity. Oh wow! Wow, that's deep. Wow, nice, nice. Yeah. All right. So, what inspired you to become an artist? So, um, so I was always a creative person. You know, I used to perform in showcases and talent shows as a young girl, and. I would write poetry in middle school, but it wasn't until I got into high school where I actually started rapping. Okay, okay, nice. So, uh, so my next question was, um, what age did you you had talent? Oh, so that would definitely had to be uh, freshman year of high school, which was age 14. That's when I started listening to Lil Wayne Heavy. <laughs> and I was <laughs> like, yo, this guy's a genius. And I just started rapping from there, you know, at the age of 14. Uh, okay, okay, nice. I, I do like Wayne. I do like Wayne. You know, my favorite would always be Carter Three. That would always be my favorite album from Wayne. So how would you describe your style? Uh, I would describe it as conscious rap, you know, the Kendricks and the J. Coles of the game. Definitely following that route. Um, if you guys don't know, conscious rap is, it comes from the idea that social change can come mm. about through self-knowledge and personal discovery and societal, society awareness. So, um, yeah, conscious rap is definitely the route that would describe my style. Nice. And I can lie, we need a lot more females who is more conscious. I have like I haven't seen a lot of them like that. Like we always use Lauren Hill as an example. There don't get me wrong, there are artists out there, so I don't wanna say there is, but as far as like mainstream, we don't get the recognition. Like um Rhapsody is definitely one of the few uh oh, yeah. conscious rap females. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She is, she is definitely one. So so tell us about your project, A New Vibe, and how was the process of making that project? A New Vibe is something that I'm very super proud of because it's my first project that I ever put out. Um, if you listen to A New Vibe, which is the first song off the, the project, it talks about how I transitioned and I never wanted to go to college. I just wanted to make music, but here I am. I went through college and it was kind of like a full circle moment. So a new vibe is my me coming into my new journey post-college. And it's just a collection of music that'll make you feel good vibes. Um, it has songs that'll make you feel motivated, like On My Grind and Level Up. And then there's mm -hmm. some songs that touch on society issues like history and deception. Okay, okay, nice. And I did hear a new vibe, and that is an amazing project. It, I, I was like, I was blown away when I heard your project. You know, Thank keep you. it up. I appreciate that. Okay, it's so like speaking of your, <laughs> <laughs> so 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 speaking of um the, the project, what was your favorite song? Give me, try to give me your top three of your favorite song of the album project. Okay, bet. You know, I want to ask you the same question, but. <laughs> <laughs> I would say my top three favorites will have to be Level Up is my favorite. 
Um, I'm actually adding a second verse to that, which will, we could talk about that later on, but <laughs> level up. And then my second favorite will have to be more money and probably a new vibe. Okay, okay, nice. Okay, mine's um, more money. I'm um, nice. also like, um, I like history. Mm-hmm. And also like the song that we all gonna play today. We gonna get to that a little later though. All right, so um, well, I think we kind of spoke about this a little bit. How do we? How do you feel about the current um state of hip hop, female hip hop? Yeah, like we did speak on this a little bit. I I do think that we are you know getting recognized, but at the same time, there's a huge gap if you compare mm-hmm. it to men in this field. Um, I think that we're rising up, and it's just women we have more expectations we are expected to conform to the industry uh what the industry expects of us and so it's a little harder and challenging for us but like in every other area in life we will prevail (laughs) that's how i feel (laughs) okay yeah yeah i agree with that i agree with that so you know with everything going so everything going on right now um you know with covid um the the, the racism and just in america how did it affect you um, so I, I was fortunate enough to be able to, well, I am fortunate enough to be able to walk from, work from home, thankfully. Um, my mom and my sister actually on the front line, they're nurses. Wow. So um, I came from Connecticut back to Far Rockaway to um, be with them to make sure, you know, they're good. But still, you know, keeping our little distancing throughout the house. And um just finding different ways to keep myself sane so that I know once this passes, I can be in a position to help people who aren't as fortunate as I was. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. That's real good. I feel you. And, you know, shout out to your your, your mother and your sister for um, doing the front line and you know, keeping people that's around the world. That's, you know, that's a big thing right now. Not there. easy. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So, um, who is your dream artist that you want to work with? Oh, I could name a handful, <laughs> but top, top J. Cole for sure. <laughs> um, he's one of my role models in the industry and uh, music. I will have to say J. Cole for sure. Okay, okay, nice, nice. So uh, what other project do you have going on? Actually, I'm currently working on my second project which I'm excited about. It should be out before the end of the year. I'm aiming for September because I want to put it out before my birthday, but we'll see. Um, It's similar. It's still feel good music, but it's way more upbeat songs. So it's songs that you could bump in your car, in the club. Okay, nice. Now you already know I'm looking forward to it. I'm definitely looking forward to your next project. Me too. (laughs) (laughs) So what is your dream venture? Something that you always wanted to do. Okay, um, so I will say, so I'm gonna break this up. So short term, short term would definitely be uh, continue songwriting and I would love to songwrite for other artists. Mm. That's like my short term goal that I always have wanted to do. And long term, you know, I strive to hopefully one day open up a business which will eventually bring about but that business will consist of community hubs for the youth Mm. and it'll teach them to learn about culture, art, and tech. Cause you know, I am in a tech field as well, so. Nice, big things, big things. So what do you have to say for anybody that's going the same route as you? Oh man, it ain't easy, but it's worth it. Like you gotta be resilient. You gotta know that what doesn't kill you make you stronger. It's our adversities that shape us. We got to pull through. Um, if you ever having difficult times, just know that it's preparing you for something greater. Like everyone has their own timeline. So don't compare yourself to other people. You have to work hard because hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. So you either win or you learn. You never lose. Mm, deep, deep, deep. Oh, you ain't know before we yes. go. So before we go, we're going to play your song. And also one of my favorite songs, The Session. Tell us about this song yes. and, and tell us about why it's like related to real life right now. So, yeah, so deception means is a form of deceit. 
my way home from Made in America in 2017. And this song just came to me. And I just, I got my niece and my sister to sing on the hook. And yeah, like I said, I, I dedicated to anybody who was a victim of police brutality, mm. a victim of social injustice. And then the ending, if you hear the song, I ended it off with a little poem, which was suggested to me by my brother. And he was like, yo, just add a poem. Cause you know, I used to do poetry. Mm. So this is a little bit about what the song is about. And I'm just, I'm glad that people are speaking up on this now. Cause at the time when I first put out the song, it was like kind of frowned upon. The people that I let hear it, they wasn't really sure how this was gonna fit into what was going on at the time or what was being listened to at the time. But like I said, everybody has their own timeline. So just because at that moment, no one was catching on. I, I, I'm very thankful that it's being played now and people can hear how important it is to use your First Amendment right. Okay, nice, nice. And I, I do enjoy the song and, you know, it's an amazing song. But, you know, I want to thank you for coming on the show today. You know, you are in, you. you are a very intelligent girl. You're doing your thing. I look thank forward you. to everything that you're doing. Your style is very different. Just keep doing your thing. And, you know, you, you're killing it right now. Yes, I appreciate you and your platform and giving artists like myself a place to uh, speak. I appreciate it so much. Thank you for playing my music. I appreciate everything. Yeah, yeah anytime. So, you know, um, drop all your information, you know, your social media and where they can find your album so they can listen to it. Yes. So, again, my name is Banga. You can find me at Banga Official on all platforms. That's B-A-N-G-A-A, -A, two A's at the end, official, O-F-F-I-C-I-A-L. And my project is called A New Vibe. You can find it on all streaming platforms, YouTube if you don't stream. And <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can find me, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all social media platforms. And stay safe out there, y'all. I love you guys. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. We'll be right back. Bye.